Death and taxes. Two subjects that suck the life and fun out of everything. How does that relate to boat buying? We're gonna skip the death part and tell you all about boat taxes in Ontario. Hi, I'm Sean from Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. Are you shopping for a newer used boat and wondering how much tax could I owe? If you are buying or importing a boat to or from Ontario, this next few minutes is all for you. By the end of this video, you should understand the tax implications if you're buying a boat in Ontario or importing it to Ontario, or if you're buying it from Ontario and exporting it to another place to use elsewhere. This is going to help you keep those numbers in mind when you're doing your boat budgeting. Stick around to the end of this video where we're going to have a link for you to click and make a boat appointment chat with one of our professionals. There's no obligation, no cost, and that'll be at the end of the video. In this video, we're going to cover the basic tax rule, the tax rate in Ontario for boats, the trade effect on taxes, when you buy a, from a dealer in Ontario and keep it there, when you buy from a dealer in Ontario and ship it out of province, and when buying a boat privately. Essentially, the tax rule for a boat or for any good is that you will owe the tax in the area, province, state, or otherwise, where you plan to use it and register or license the boat. So as an example, if you plan to use and register the boat in Ontario, you would owe the 13% HST in Ontario. If you were to buy a boat anywhere in the world and use it in the state of New York, as an example, you would owe the New York state tax on that boat. A boat on Ontario is just like any other goods or services and is subject to 13% HST. Whenever you trade a boat, if it is included on the bill of sale and itemized with the proper serial number and given a value that is acceptable by the province or state that you're registering in, you would only owe the tax on the difference between the two boats. As an example, if you were buying a $30,000 boat and trading in a boat that the dealer or private individual is giving you $10,000 for, you would owe tax on $20,000. When you buy a boat from a dealer in the province of Ontario, they are obliged to collect and remit 13% HST on that boat purchase for the total amount or the difference amount between the new boat and the traded boat. Then when they register the boat or the license in Ontario, they would show that tax as being paid and you would owe no further tax. When you buy a boat from an Ontario dealer and it is delivered out of the province to any other province or state, no tax is collected by the dealer because the dealer has no ability to remit taxes in other states or provinces unless they happen to have another location there. So by and large, there is no tax charged at the time of purchase. And when you license or register the boat in the province of choice, they will come to you with a invoice for the amount of tax owing for that particular province or state. The tax emission amount in the province of Ontario for a used boat or bought from a private individual is exactly the same amount. The only difference being is who you owe it to. If you buy from a private individual and then you register your license with Transport Canada, they will send you an invoice for the amount of HST or 13% owed on the value of that boat. Some people will try to trick the system by putting in a lower value than they paid. Be aware that Transport Canada uses a blue book or NADA value to make sure that your value is acceptable within the market. Taxes suck. And that fact of life does not change how much boating does not suck. Hopefully now you are armed with some knowledge so that you understand the boat tax implications in each scenario. 
We absolutely recommend whenever possible to work with a dealer, whether you're buying a new or used boat, to simplify this process so you have nothing to worry about. However, if you are buying a private boat, we recommend that you register your boat with Transport Canada right away and use a honest value so that taxes can be paid and that you'll have no future liability or hang-ups if you decide to sell or trade that boat in the future. Click here for a video on registering your boat with Transport Canada and all the licensing FAQs. Remember to check out the link in the description below to set up your free one-on-one -on -one personal consultation with one of our professionals if you happen to have any questions about taxation or any other boat buying inquiries. There are lots of links in the description below for other boat buying videos that will help you out and make yourself well informed and make the right decision. Thank you for joining us on Lens Cove Lessons of Boating for today's video. Remember to like this video and subscribe for more. Be safe, have fun, and we'll see you out on the water.